So this is my follow-up on the TechVest Spokemaster Lite. Um, so far I'm liking it. So the difference with this tech vest and the others, or if you ride snow machines, you'd really be you'd be really familiar with them, is look at all the little ventilation holes this guy has in it. And they do work. I used it on a dual sport ride and I had this on, I had a t-shirt, the vest, and then a hoodie over the top. And I forget, it was uh, in the 60s and uh, I could feel the air blowing through all those holes. It was actually a little chilly. Today it's like 69 degrees, beautiful day. And uh, if I stand around in it, it gets hot. But when I'm riding, um, I'm just fine. All I am is wearing this uh, old jersey and I'm totally comfortable. I'll make sure I don't burn it on the exhaust. The quality of the tech vest is just like the others. This is a real heavy duty material. Um, I don't have a lot of time on it. I was going through some, so through some trees, going through some alders. Um, you know, nothing caught on it and snagged. It's one of the reasons I went with this. This type of vest over, um, what do they call those things? Armored shirts or something? Uh, I, I just didn't have a lot of faith in the mesh material holding up over a long time. And from what I saw watched a number of YouTube videos before I decided to go with this one and uh, I saw guys that they were pretty shredded so it's like well I paid two hundred dollars for one of those this is not cheap um, but I think it's worth the money they last forever the quality of the the quality of the webbing is, is excellent the buckles are heavy duty the webbing's really thick this material it just holds together. The Spokemaster has this piece here. You want to put a hydration pack on. This is nice. This is uh, padded so the zipper doesn't chafe your neck. It's a high quality zipper. YKK brand name. Big teeth. I haven't had a zipper wear out on one of these before. And the one I have for snow machining. Boy, how much have I used that one? I got that one like 17 used it a lot and it's it's just fine you've got buckles on the back which i believe they make some type of backpack accessory i'm not sure how it would clip in on the on the bottom there's a more expensive one of these uh well there's one that they have i, that, I don't know it's for dirt bike riding um from what i can tell these are all pretty similar the the one they actually make for dirt bike riding is another hundred dollars more and uh it just had stuff on it i didn't need i wanted the ventilation holes because i will show i'll show you this compared to my other one and uh, how they kind of get hot it's got a nice heavy duty piece here that you can hang it so it can dry out air out what else these are plastic you know i don't Oh, yeah, I guess you do. So it's got this little... It's got that piece there. Can you see that? And I believe these you can put the uh, armored pieces on here to cover up the upper part of your arm where your bicep is, the tricep. Which might not be a bad idea depending on what you're doing. So through the magic of editing, I'm back home. <clears throat> so I've had tech vests for over 22 years now. This was my first one. I think this is the original style. You used to pull it over your head. Then it had a strap you had to put on through your legs, which you'd forget. And then the buckle would get snapped. This is where the cord would fit for your snow machine. The tether. Got a little bit of wear here. I raced in this a number of times. And then my son raced in it. And uh, it's been good. You can see the wear. I mean, it's really not bad. Then I went and I got a Liat brace, a neck brace. And so then I made this spot with this one. I got one of these when I first came out. I had to talk to them at the company and they asked me how much I weighed. And, and uh, this one happens to be, uh, oh, it's been used a lot. Is it gone?
Oh, isn't that interesting? This one's a medium. Huh. That's really curious. So that one's a medium. And this one, I think, is, this is a large, extra large. So yeah, so this one I raced in quite a bit. You can see it's got the shoulder pads, same as this. And this old one is sewn in. These I thought, okay, that's sewn in as well. I think. Mosquitoes are finding me. Yeah, so those aren't replaceable. So then they went to this style, which I think is very similar to the Spokemaster. And, oh, this one doesn't have a place where you can put, oh, maybe it does. So it's got a strap there. Oh, it's got a strap there. So they must have a new style for the shoulder pads for these extra pieces if you want to fit them in. So I dislocated my shoulder rolling a four-wheeler on top of me when we were climbing a mountain, that one way over there. And had I been wearing a tech vest, I think I may have prevented that injury. Don't know for sure, but, but it certainly wouldn't have hurt anything to have it on. Um, so I wore this one, I got this in 17. I've raced in it a number of times. Um, just it's a really comfortable vest I like the style with the zipper so again here we have the YKK zipper and it's been holding together really well same as this one um, the big difference is see this one doesn't have all the little vent holes in it and so I would get hot wearing this one and plus it's black and it you know, just going to get more sunlight on it and get warmer. But they, they've got this clip here, which um, from what I read, then you can unzip it part way to try to get more, more ventilation to yourself, or this one didn't. And then on the back, yeah, this one doesn't have any place to attach it to, where this one has those buckles and then this stuff here. So however their backpack works, um, they make some accessories for it. Yeah, you can see, so then the material here is also vented where, where it's not on this one. So for in the winter time, these actually keep you warm. But I just found it to be too hot during the summer. So this, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm really pleased with it. You can tell, you know, they made it so it vents. Now, now in the advertisement they talk about, or on their website, they talk about how you could use it for bicycling. I Maybe downhill biking, but uh, I, I wouldn't want to be riding around in this thing. I mean, it's so overkill. It'd be, yeah, it'd be way too hot. And I was going to kind of show the sizes, try to show, so this is extra large. And then this is my son's. We got him a medium. He's in high school and I, I forget how much he weighs. But they've got the weight chart, so you just, just figure out how much you weigh. And uh, the nice thing is with, with these side straps, you, you can you can make it as tight or loose as you need. So it, it's, it fits a wide range of body shapes. Um, I really like, it's got the protection, it goes around the side. Yeah, you've got the front, the shoulders. I think this is these are just the most protective vests you're gonna get. Probably don't look the coolest. For snow machining, this was what I mean. Uh, this, I think, one other brand is what they actually regulate. They require for uh, uh, cross country snow machine racing and snowcross. So they're they're well known for being protective. They're just now, I think, getting into um, dirt riding, summertime sports to kind of branch out, I suspect. And uh, I don't think you can find stuff that protects you better than this brand, than these type of uh, vests. So that's why I got it. So you can see it from my riding area, or where I was at with the YZ. I have uh, lots of rocks, and just not the, not the greatest. So there you go, YouTube. That's my review of the Tech Vest Spokemaster Light.
Thanks for watching.